If you are a final year undergrad, masters or PhD student, then you would be required to write a research thesis as part of your academic requirement. So how do you go about writing your thesis or dissertation? What are some of the sections that you should include? Are there any AI tools that can help you to write your thesis faster? Well, if you are struggling with these questions too, then this video is for you. Hi everyone, I am Neha Grawal. I am the founder of Visa and on this channel I make videos on studying abroad, job readiness, research mastery and communication skills. Essentially all those areas where you need to become wiser to succeed in your career. So if any of these topics are relevant to you, you can subscribe to this channel. And now, let's learn all about writing a research thesis. So first let's understand what is a research thesis. A research thesis or a dissertation is a document that is submitted in support of your academic candidature where you explain the research and findings from your work. You can also think of it as an extended version of a research paper. Just as how in a research paper we have different sections like the introduction, methodology, results, discussion, conclusion. Similarly in a research thesis we have these sections. What makes it different from a research paper is that it is much more detailed. Usually in a research paper, we explain the things in a short, concise manner. But in a thesis, we can be as detailed as possible because usually there is no word limit. Another difference is that a research paper focuses on a specific topic. But our research as part of the academic degree could cover multiple topics and multiple areas. So in our thesis, we usually write everything that we've done as part of our academic degree, unlike a research paper which focuses on a specific topic. So in other words, you can also say that a thesis is a combination of multiple research papers that you would go on to publish as part of your academic degree. Clear? So now I hope you have a basic understanding of what a research thesis is. And now let's understand all the different sections that go in a research thesis. In a research thesis, the first section is usually the cover page where you will write your thesis title, your name, degree name, academic department and university name. After that, we have a table of content section where all the chapters and sub-chapters are neatly listed down. You also have table captions, figure captions and list of abbreviations as well. We also have an acknowledgement section where you thank your professor, other researchers who have helped you and your parents and friends as well. Usually the format of all these things are provided by the university and you don't really need to break your head over it. In fact, even though these sections come right in the beginning of your thesis, usually we complete it in the end after you've written all the chapters so that the content of all these things can be filled up easily. After these formality sections comes the main sections of your research thesis which is the abstract, introduction, literature review, methodology, results and discussion and conclusion. But before I deep dive into each of these sections and explain to you what is all the information you are supposed to include, let me share with you an AI tool that can make your thesis writing much more faster and efficient. I am talking about PaperPal. PaperPal is an AI writing assistant that can literally half the amount of time you need to spend to writing your research thesis. What makes it different from other AI tools like ChatGPT is that it has been developed specifically for research writing. It has been trained on millions of research papers so that it understands the academic nuances and then it is able to give you recommendations based on your research study. In fact, there are such amazing features of PaperPal that it's going to be difficult for me to cover all of them, but still I'm going to share the most useful ones with you today. Firstly, when you're writing your thesis, PaperPal will offer in-depth language and grammar check to polish your writing. What makes it different is that it also gives you synonyms and language suggestions which follow a more academic style and tone of writing. PaperPal also has a rewrite feature where it can help you paraphrase the information that you're taking from other sources. This can be really useful when you're writing a literature review section. It also has the write feature where if you give it a prompt, then PaperPal can help you generate the next sentence, counter arguments, analogies, examples, etc. Another feature I find really useful on PaperPal is the research feature where if you need some more information on a topic, 
then you can research that immediately on paper pal and include that information in your thesis along with the relevant references once you're done writing your thesis you can use its plagiarism check feature to identify the accidental plagiarism that you've committed and then use the tool to take necessary actions to improve it as well i mean i'm just amazed as to how ai and paper pal can make research writing so easy for us researchers so do try it out in fact for its premium version the developers of paper pal have been really kind to share a discount coupon with me which all of you can use you can find it in the description and the pinned comments and now let's understand all the different sections that go in a research thesis so the first main section of a research thesis is an abstract and an abstract is like a summary of your entire thesis and this is where you summarize all the major sections that come in your research thesis starting with explaining the motivation of your study the objective of your research the methodologies that you have followed the corresponding results and discussion that you've got out of it followed by your conclusion and sharing the novel contributions from your work in fact what i have done is i made two detailed videos on how to write an abstract the first video talks in detail about all the information you should include and the second one also explains that with the help of an example so if you want to learn in detail how to write an abstract then you can check out both those videos The next chapter is the introduction and this is where we first share the significance and purpose of our study as to why is our research study worth taking up. After that we go on to establish the research gap as to what are the problems that other researchers have not been able to solve. Once we've established the research gap we go on to sharing the objective of our work. Basically what exactly are we trying to achieve in our research study that will help in fulfilling that research gap and then finally followed by the scope of our study so what are some of the things we are planning to discuss not planning to discuss or cover in our research thesis all those things we share in the introduction section of course i've explained this thing in really brief but that doesn't mean your introduction section is going to be one or two pages Usually the introduction section could be at least 7 to 8 pages where you explain all these things in a lot of detail and backing it up with relevant literature from your study area. After the introduction section comes a separate chapter which is called as the literature review. And this is where we go into detail explaining how all the knowledge of our research area has come from. So basically which literature has helped us in establishing our background knowledge. which literature has helped us in identifying the problem statement and the literature gap and then finally the literature that we have referred to in order to arrive at our objective statement so this section can be as detailed as possible you can share all the literature that you have referred to 70 80 100 papers how much ever you want to but make sure that you don't plagiarize content you don't copy information line by line from other papers you paraphrase the information and then at the same time cite and refer the information correctly as well usually literature review can run somewhere between 15 to 30 pages 40 pages completely depends upon you after the literature review we have the methodology section where you explain all the methodologies you have followed to arrive at the results in case you had multiple sub topics within your research and there were multiple methodologies that you tried out then i'd recommend that you put them under separate sub chapters for every methodology have a separate sub chapter now when you're explaining the methodologies before that you can also give the rationale as to how did you arrive at that methodology or why did you choose that methodology what are some of the materials that you have used then you can share the step by step process that you had followed and also all the analytical techniques that you have used you can also go into detail into explaining these analytical techniques and how they are actually carried out along with sample preparation etc once we've completed the methodology chapter we now move on to the results and discussion section and this is where you share all the data that you gathered from your research study a proper analysis of that data the result that you have gotten you comment on the results and how it helps you in fulfilling the research objectives all the analysis that you have done from the different tools that you have used 
everything is shared in this section. In fact, if based on all the results and discussion that you've gotten, if you feel that there's if there are certain results that are not satisfactory enough, usually these kind of things we avoid in a research paper, but you can definitely include it in your research thesis, giving a proper rationale as to why it did not work out or why it was not satisfactory enough, and that is absolutely fine. And finally comes the last chapter of your research thesis, which is the conclusion. And this is where you reiterate as to why did you take up this research study? What are some of the important results that you've gotten from your study? What has been your novel contributions or how has your research study made an impact in the field? And along with that, you also share the future scope as to how your research study can be taken forward by other researchers. And in this way, if you write all these sections, then you would have managed to write your research thesis or dissertation. So everyone, that is all that I wanted to share with you today. I know writing a 50 or 100 page research thesis, I've tried to explain it in a 10 minute video. But if you want to learn these things in detail, then I have a separate course for that, which is called as A to Z of research paper writing. In this eight hour course, I go into detail of writing each and every section of a research paper or a research thesis, share multiple examples with you, share multiple AI tools with you that you can use in order to write your papers faster. So if you want to know more about the course, then I've put it in the description and in the pinned comment. Also, if you're interested in writing your thesis faster, then don't forget to check out PaperPal. I've put the link in the description and in the pinned comment. And now, thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you have a fantastic career ahead.